You know that saying, life begins at the end of your comfort zone? Well, while I don't think it necessarily just begins, <laughs> I do think it gets a little bit more exciting. At least that's what I've experienced. Yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Yes, I look forward to it. <laughs> yeah, Bye. All the best. Thank you. Out of breath that was a lot of luggage but yeah good morning so i decided to do a little just a traditional vlog um just a traditional vlog style video today figured it's been a minute so why not but it's a long day it's gonna be a travel day i am traveling from brisbane to melbourne today and then i'll get there check in just get settled so yeah mommy <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's the plan. From Brisbane. Oh, Brisbane yeah. was good. Yeah, so this was not, <laughs> I was not expecting this. Thank you so much. Okay. There is actually also a bus that goes straight into the city from the airport, and I had planned on taking that, but I just was too exhausted and cold at this point. I just, I wanted the fastest way possible. I want you for my 
I'm trying to take all this in. I just love when things are like, it's a perfect size. It's not doing too much. I have like, you know, my fridge, I have appliances. I can cook, like it's not doing too much. It's not doing too little, washer and dryer. Um, no, this was so worth it. That's my little tour. I'm in Melbourne. <laughs> this is actually stunning. This was, this was a good choice. <sighs> Crazy because I was feeling so sick. Like, did I tell you I threw up on the plane? Like I was so sick and then I get in here and all of a sudden I have like all this energy from like excitement. But I should go get something to eat and then go grocery shopping after that. Well, go get something to eat, walk around a little, go grocery shopping, then come back home. Today's a Saturday and it's still like, I don't think it's 1 p.m. yet. So yeah, there's still a whole day. I had planned, um, I actually planned to go to like, is it Federation Square? Like just some square here where, cause of the Women's FIFA World Cup is like on right now. And there's like a fan festival, um, just like, just to feel, you know, the whole like vibe. Um, there's a fan festival at the square and I was gonna go just be a part of it, just walk around. Honestly, I don't know if I have the energy for that. I'll see after I eat. But that was the plan. That is it. I'm excited to explore Melbourne over the next couple of weeks. Just live life here. <laughs> Right here um is there anything that's i can sit over there yeah. thank you this pat to you is it kind of like drunken noodles you know like the drunken noodles uh it's similar to but the pat you that's spicy yeah. It's spicy. Okay, you know what? I'm. But is it very sweet? Because I see the sweet dark. It's sweet, yeah. It's very sweet. Which one do you like? <laughs> um, the, it's depending if... on you. You want to have rice or noodles. Okay, you know what? I like the, the flat noodles mm. from Dunkin' Noodles. Drunken noodles. Drunken noodles. Um, we can make it spicy if you like. Yeah, I don't want spicy. That's oh. fine. Okay, I'll do the pat to you. Two um, beef. Beef? Yes. Thank you. The food got served and honestly the noodles, it was just okay. Um, I enjoyed the noodles itself, but the beef was a little bit burned. So this is one of those moments where, you know, you know when you're really hungry and then you eat and you're just kind of like, well, at least I'm full, but you're not really satisfied. That's how I felt. But I just kind of sat there and just took it all in. And then I also decided to get some rice for later.
this moment right here, it just really felt like I was home. <laughs> it felt like this was just my new normal. Um, yeah, that's partly what I wanted for this trip. I just wanted to live like my everyday life in a different environment, in a different society. I wanted to learn, um, you know, just from people outside my immediate circle. I just wanted some sort of exposure that I knew I couldn't really necessarily get like at home, but I didn't want it to feel just very touristy the entire time or feel extremely curated. And honestly, I have met some amazing people on this trip. I've met people that are traveling themselves. I've met people that, you know, are just locals that live here and just talking to people, sharing experiences. It's just been like literally what I dreamed about. So, so far so good. And I'll definitely be sharing more of that over the next couple of days, weeks. I must say this was um, a pretty smooth transition for me just because, I mean, Australia's and it's an English speaking society. So I'm, as I'm, I can imagine that my experience would have been a lot different if I had gone somewhere where, you know, they just didn't even speak English to begin with. But at this point of the night, I was exhausted. Um, yeah, it was a long day. So I just took a shower and then I did some skincare and I really was ready to turn in for the night. I definitely had to take some painkillers though because I had been pushing myself for the past couple of days with all the travels and just jet lag and getting adjusted and all that. Listen, the struggle was so real yesterday. Oh my gosh, I... I just completely wiped out. Like I tried to eat some of the rice and I started to watch some Netflix and I just wiped out. Like it's currently, it's 12, 28 AM, Sunday, August 20th. So that's my time, but Nashville time, it's actually, it's actually 9.28 AM. So I think one of my, one of my biggest struggles um, for this trip is just that the time change at lag is, yeah, my body has just been all over the place, but yeah, totally fell asleep last night. I took that Tylenol before I slept, like every inch of my body hurt, it hurt. And it felt like that, like it was actually worse. The first, my first travel day when I actually flew into Australia, that was actually worse. It was like a 20, like maybe almost a 30 hour travel, like trip in total. So yeah, I needed a couple of days just to, just to recuperate. And then this one was a two and a half hour flight, but it felt like a 10 hour flight. So I rested, I slept. Today's a Sunday and I did have some plans, but I'll just have to see if anything, I really might just take the day and just sleep and stay in because I need a day just to re reset. That was my first day in Melbourne. Overall, I'm really glad I did this. This was something that I had in mind to do. I wanted to live somewhere else for just an extended period of time. Um, and then I had a mind to do it, but didn't really plan. And then I think around like May, I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to do this. And then I was like, it's definitely going to be Australia because I was thinking about somewhere else too. And then I started thinking about it and it was seeming like, okay, this is great. This is going to work. And then <laughs> of course life, like things will happen. And then like random, like not random, but like things happened unexpectedly and it was like oh should i still do this should i not but i don't know i'm like i'm glad i did it i'm glad i'm doing it i'm glad i yeah so i'm really excited i really hope you enjoyed um this video yeah i will catch you in the next one bye <laughs>